Okay, then now this little group. These ones were actually beautifully inspired by a course by a New Zealand artist, Julie Woods. She offered a course earlier in the year and because she's also done um, the same course that I had done a while back, I just knew that she would understand the same concepts that I am trying to concretize in my understanding of my work. So I followed along one of her processes and largely that was to have the horizon line and the dark and the light field and then an area of interest put in that field. That's a, an abbreviation of what she taught. And this is my interpretation of Judy's course, these, these three paintings. There was a fourth and it was a, um, an interesting vase of sort of flowers with a chair. I popped a chair in it just for the fun of it, a collage chair. And I ended up over overdoing it, over controlling it and ruining it. So I've painted over it. It's currently gone, dead, um, hiding under a layer of black paint, I think was the last I saw of it. So three out of four, not too bad out of that little group there. Um, and that can be good too, you know, of, of me understanding you don't, you can't get a hundred percent hit rate. It's, that's too much of a pressure to put on yourself. So um, these three are actually some of the most interesting, exciting things I've done in a while because they're so unplanned. Um, I love unplanned, but to have unplanned, but then to arrive at an end result that I really love is quite another thing. And so um, I've been reading a book by Mary O'Malley. Um, and it's called What's in the Way is the Way. And so I'll read you a little piece because it's written into this work, into this painting. You can see the writing there and this girl very much sitting with it. So I'll read you this, what, it's, what I've written here. Um, Most of us are caught up in the, in the worlds of our storyteller, that we live in a small, tight world, all day long, we pay attention to the clouds in our heads, which are made of our spells. We don't see what is going on, and we definitely don't recognize the meadow. Um, and Mary's premise is the meadow is always with us. We are always in the meadow. The meadow doesn't go anywhere. The, that sent the, the underlying knowledge that all is well, we are, <clears throat> we are more than the personality that we carry around. In our deepest, deepest inner knowing, we are always okay. But on top of that, we layer our fears and concerns and, and beliefs and programs and all of the things that take away our peace. And so I wrote that into this because um, I was going through that period of such difficult time of not believing in myself and not um, you know, not happy with any of the work I was creating, just la 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 la, inner critic freaking out. And so this, this, this girl sitting on the chair, um, I got really excited by this painting because it really encapsulated a lot of what I'd been feeling. And so it felt really genuine. And the red chair, I've, I've always loved red. I love green, you know, like it's just got elements, a lot of the elements in this painting that I just love and it delighted me. So I've called it Clouds in Our Heads. So that's that one. I may not balance it back up there in case anything happens to have it fall down. Um, and then this one is like a messy, the messy table after breakfast. Um, again, the messiness of it just delighted me. I'll bring it closer. I've, I've started bringing in these little faces again. So there's a little, so I just did a rough kind of drawing um, with graffiti, you know, carving it out and carving it into the wet paint and just decided to leave it there. So that one there I have called, I've called a blue vase. Sometimes I'm not very inventive with my naming, but that's what I called it. I, actually, I needed to have some names to give for the photographer to have, um, a list of references so that he would know which painting 
there's which to name them for his records and for also for me to know what's happening. So these, some of these may end up with new names as they're displayed for sale. Yeah, because this one's very much like, you know, Sunday morning break after breakfast or something. That's what it's reminding me of. And then there's this one. And I was loving how with the layers, that leaf, the white leaf shape, that like those veins of leaves, sometimes when you find um, dried, dried leaves somewhere and you can just see the whole skeletal image of it. So they remind me of that. And then I just had that little blue chair, um, which is cut out from a painted page some other time. So there's this little blue chair that just was wanting to randomly sit there and it was on its own. But guess who wanted to come and be on it? A little chicken. <laughs> because the, this painting, when I made those, those building shapes, there's like a tiny little building next to the big one. But this one really reminded me of a barn, a really big barn out on the farm. I grew up in New Zealand and there were farms nearby. We didn't have one, but I had, had, they were nearby. Oh, and I would go past them on my school bus run to school. Um, so this really was quite fun little visit, um, kind of back to New Zealand. And there, if you see very closely in there, there's some collage of a tea bag packet and a teapot, an English teapot. So um, yeah, that's the, the fun of that one. So those three became you know, this little sort of abstract series on their own. And um, th I just find them very, very endearing. And I look forward to painting more um, a bit like this somehow. Um, but I'll come back to that later. Uh, that's all for those ones. And I'll get a next set.